Hi. Hey. Eddie. Hello. Hey. Eddie. Hey. Come in, Eddie. What have you done for me lately, Eddie? I sell furniture. Morning, guys. Come now, don't have all night. You have other forms of income? I also sell carpets. Really? Hi guys, my name is Eddie from SF Film Chronicles. We're a TV and film podcast covering all the local South African content. Um, thank you very much for joining me. Please can you introduce yourselves, um, your name, your surname, and your character name in Ludic. We can start with you, Arnold. Hi, I'm Arnold Foslu. I play Don Ludic. Hi, I'm Rob from Furin, and I play Swayze de Villiers in Ludic. I'm Sean Cameron Michael, and I play Arendt Brown. And I'm Yandre Leroux, and I play Bells in Ludic. Oh, fantastic, guys. Thank you so much for joining me. First question I've got is for Rob and Arnold. Um, how did you guys deliver such strong chemistry, um, you know, you know, with each other? Because you guys showed such beautiful, strongly uh, brother love, brotherly love, but your characters weren't always on screen together. Wow, th uh, thank you for, for noticing. I felt like a, um, you the first journalist who's actually brought that up, but there was... Uh, yeah, I think there was incredible chemistry between us, I, which was a relief for me because I was quite, un quite honestly terrified coming into the project to be, you know, on screen with a Hollywood icon. But Arnold was so welcoming from day one, so down to earth, like an utter professional and just a lacquer guy that we could just get on with it. And the show is a gift, the script is a gift, it's so good. It really just, it, it, it teed us off so beautifully to, to be able to deliver. And um, I mean, the character arc of those two characters and their relationship with each other, there's so much to draw on. That I think if there wasn't chemistry, then we'd just be really cuck actors, actually. <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> the scripts are great. Thank God, because Rob is a complete <laughs> don't really like him. But uh, you know, the scripts are good. <laughs> yeah. And, and, and Sean, I want, I want to ask you, um, was it intentional for your character to be Irish in an Afrikaans series? It's, uh, I mean, originally the character was written as an Afrikaans businessman, um, ardent, grobbelaar. And um, I think my Afrikaans accent or my Afrikaans was just so horrible. <laughs> they were like, okay, we're going to have to change this character name. <laughs> Um, <laughs> no, I, but what had actually happened was the, the creators of the show uh, and the producers and the directors um, thought that it might be, that they, they'd watched another show that I'd done in the States called MacGyver, uh, the MacGyver sort of remake um, series where I played an Irish character and um, Ian Gabriel was uh, quite a fan of the Irish character that I'd played in this other show and so they thought um, because Ludic was going to be this big international show shown to um, you know over 200 million people in a hundred, over 190 countries it might be interesting if we actually brought other nationalities into the story so having a, an Irish character and a Russian character that would really give it a nice sort of international feel and um, it was it was lots of fun it was lots of fun playing that yeah and Yandre, um your character explores themes of betrayal to a certain extent which, and you know, what are some of the lessons that people can take from your character with regards to betrayal? Um, make good choices and don't get involved in the underworld. Um, <laughs> no, don't just, be a gangster. Just avoid it. Don't be a don't gangster. Be a gangster. <laughs> um, I think it, think before you make a decision because it's going to lead to bad consequences. Um, so yeah, just make good choices. Make good choices. Avoid car that, batteries. Yeah. Yeah. Does that answer your question? <laughs> yeah, yeah, more, more or less, more or less. Thank you. And I'm just gonna move on to. <laughs> I'm just gonna move on to Arnold. Um, yes, your character of of of, of Don, um, you know, develops a business sense from a very young age. However, um, your business aspirations aren't always like legit, or, you know, honest. And was this? a way of your character being intentionally rebellious against your father, who's, who's a pastor, and you know, pastor's kids are supposed to be and behave in a certain manner in society. Yes, certainly a lot of the decisions Don makes is because of that family dynamic when he was little. And uh, one of the cool things is one of the flashbacks when he's a young boy, he buys that gold chain and he 
distinctly asks them to take the crucifix off. He just wants the chain, not the crucifix. Um, or the, he wants the bling and not the baggage that comes with it. But uh, so yeah, we shaped, you know, as children and Don Ludwig was shaped and he's got this family dynamic that he has to deal with and he does the best he can, but he's a hustler. He always will find a profit somewhere, you know, even in chaos. He's mm. going he's gonna to try and make 10%. Yeah, and, and now I want to move on to you, Rob. Um, you know, you previously uh, featured in a lot of comedic roles and you bring this humorous aura to a room, which I particularly love. Uh, how did you make Sway so lighthearted while dealing with such deep, intense issues? You know, I think the part is written so well that it was all there already. It, 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 it honestly is like one of the most... Um, well written and complete parts I've ever come across. So, uh, in all honesty, I didn't need to bring anything more to it. It was all all there, and my job was really to just do it justice, um, which I hope I did because it was written. You know, it's got the gravitas, it's got the pain, it's got all that heartbreaking stuff that he goes through, uh, but it's also written with humour and it's also written with uh, a lightness as is the whole series. I think, it, I think Ludic walks this incredible tightrope between um, drama and comedy, between um, action and romance. It's just like, it's so layered and it, it balances all those things so well across the board. It's, it's just a great show. And, and, and Sean, uh, you know, you, you worked on a few Netflix originals before, despite being, you know, co-writing for, for Collision, you were supposed to be a protagonist there, but, you know, now we, we have you on Ludic, which is, you know, phenomenal. Um, what inspired you to take the role of Orange? Um, I mean, I, I was approached by Paul Bass um, quite a while back, and he said, look, you know, we're doing this new Netflix show, Arnold's attached, Ian Gabriel's attached. Um, he sent me a sc um, the script and, um, Arnold and I had worked on a show for um, CBS, I think it was, back in 2016. Uh, we, were we, were, we were playing South African characters in that, but we never actually had any one-on-one -on -one scenes together. So I was, um, I was really excited to, to work with him again, um, but this time actually on screen and uh, being a, a fun antagonist for, to, for him to play with. Um, so that's really what, what, what attracted me to it. Also, because of Collision, um, you know, Collision was a project that I'd also been attached to for quite a couple of years and um, I was working on that as a, as a co-writer and exec producer for Netflix but then I, um, I was shooting on another Afrikaans TV series and I just wasn't available to play the lead role in something that I'd written for myself two years ago. So I was very excited to finally uh, be able to jump back in front of the, the cameras again with, uh, with Ludic. I had to audition. <laughs> yeah, no, Rob had to audition. I, did, I auditioned for a different part, even. And, and, and okay, so, so now, Rob, I mean, you speaking that you had to audition, um, I actually want to ask you and Yandre this. What, what was your guys' reactions when you found out that you got the role in Ludic? Sure, I mean, I, I, like I said, I initially auditioned for uh, another part for Hein. And you get this, I don't know about you, but I, I had no context. I didn't know it was a Netflix show. I didn't know Arnold was attached to it. I knew nothing. But I just got these little sides and I was like immediately struck by the tone of, of, of the writing. And it was, it felt new. It felt really, really fresh. I, I was lucky enough then to, they suggested try out Swayze and I managed to get the part. But I, even when I'd gotten the part, I still didn't know what the show was. I just knew the scenes that I auditioned in were interesting and were well written. When those scripts were sent through, I read them through the night and I burst out crying afterwards just from like, how good they were and the opportunity that had landed in my lap. I, I was approached by, um, by Paul Bass um, as well. Was everyone approached instead of me? Yeah. Yes, and he said, he said, man, well, because we met on a previous project and he said, listen, yeah, I've, I've wrote you this role. Have a look at it, see if you're interested. And I loved it. It fell right into the kind of stuff that I love doing. And I didn't know what it was for, but I was just thinking like, this is hope, you know, especially after Corona and that kind of stuff. And it's a bigger role for me. It's like a stepping stone.